working very hard on getting more speakers. The website will be back up. The rally is going to be great. We're going to have police protection. Everyone's going to be protected. I'm working on everything. I've been working very hard on everything. Will no longer be any personal issues, no infighting. That's been taken care of as well and established. We are good to go. All we're going to be doing now is beating the living shit out of all the people trying to stop us. They knock out my front teeth. Let me get that clip. My producers uploaded it. Let me get that clip. Let me show you. <laughs> oh, it's the right one too. I'm looking at it right now. And, and listen, I want to make sure everybody understand. No quarter for fascists. I don't care if you're a, 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 a white fascist, a brown fascist, uh, a Christian fascist, an atheist fascist, and I certainly don't care if you're a black fascist. If you're organizing with fascists, there is no quarter for you. And this black brother found out the hard way. All we're gonna be doing now is beating the living shit out of all the people trying to stop. They knock out my front teeth. You gotta see it again, hang on. All we're gonna be doing now is beating the living shit out of all the people trying to stop. They knock out my front teeth. All we're gonna be doing now is beating the living shit out of all the people trying to stop. They knock out my front teeth. One more time. All we're gonna be doing now is beating the living shit out of all the people trying to stop. They knock out my front teeth. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, uh, uh, this man was organizing the Proud Boys to go out there and, uh, and attack people. <laughs> he, was, he, he, he was so proud that he organized these fascists to go out there. Somebody please drop a beat to that. <laughs> Pitches, uh, pitchforks and torches, thank you for, 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 for bringing that joy into our life. I appreciate that. But bro, <laughs> this dude went out there with the intention of hurting people. God don't like ugly men. <laughs> One more time. Now is beating the living shit out of all the people trying to stop. They knock out my front teeth. <laughs> All we're gonna be doing now is beating the living shit out of all the people trying to stop. They knock out my front teeth. All we're gonna be doing now is. <clears throat> all we're gonna be doing now is they knocked out my front teeth. Oh man, listen. Oh man, I have. Thank you, man. Thank you, uh, Pitchfork. Torches and pitchforks. Don't organize with fascist people. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> Don't think because you're a black fascist that you're going to get away with it. Do you think you're going to get some special treatment? Like you're like, oh, well, they're not going to knock me down because I'm black. Nah, bro. You're on the wrong side of the fence. You're over there with the people who wear swastikas. You're going to get got. And we would much rather. Let me, let me, let me bring it back in. We would clearly much rather be peaceful and make sure that everyone is provided for in our society. But we have no requirement whatsoever to tolerate people who are intolerant. We don't. Um, David, if you could grab the tolerance paradox, uh, get the mean version of it because the actual solution to the paradox is kind of long. Uh, Carl, Carl, Carl Popper gave a solution to the intolerance paradox because a lot of people are like, well, Ben, you can't meet violence with violence. You can't be intolerant to intolerant people because that makes you intolerant yourself. And a lot of us get stuck there. Like, what do we do? What do we do when we're, we're dealing with people who are intolerant and we want ourselves to be tolerant? Does that mean we have to tolerate people who don't tolerate us? No, it doesn't. They knocked out my front teeth. <laughs> I have nightmares. I have recurring dreams. How many of you have, uh, just show of hands, um, if you have had the recurring dream of your teeth falling out.
right? I have that dream maybe maybe once every two weeks, once a month. And I wake up and I, uh, oh my God, oh my God, my teeth are still here. Oh, uh. <laughs> that dude woke up and his teeth are gone, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Larry D. Ray wants to know who knocked out his front teeth. Counter protesters. So you had the Proud Boys, which is a white supremacist. Listen, I, I want to make sure people are clear. You 100% could be a black person working on behalf of white supremacy. We usually get it in a rhetorical way. You get like Candace Owens, who uses her voice um, to fight on behalf of white supremacy. Well, this dude wasn't too smart, decided to put his body out there to fight on behalf of Proud Boys and white supremacy. Um, and he ran into a counter protester, a black man who saw this, this other black man who was organizing with fascists and one thing led to another. And there's a, there's a photo on the internet where you can see the moment of the punch and you can see the, the punch and you can see the tooth flying out of his, out of his mouth.